I just recorded an entire intro and nothing recording. Don't do that, guys. What is up, YouTube? I'm Fishing with Ty. Welcome back to another video. I apologize for not uploading for the past two weeks. We have been uh, fishing, actually, and not catching anything. So we took out the boat uh, last week and attempted to go fish for some bass. We went to a nice deep lake um, to test out the fish finder here. If you guys didn't see that video, I'll have that link in the description. Um, not the video to where we fished because we didn't catch anything, but the video to where we did the install on that. Um, and I, I just wanted to test it out, get out, see how it is. Um, and marking fish was definitely not a problem. The amount of fish I saw was insane. I'll pop up a couple examples here. And I only ended up catching one bass that was up really shallow and it was just like this tiny little like seven, eight inch guy. The tiniest little freaking, the tiniest little thing in the world though. He's a healthy little guy, but he's a little, a little skinny. Dude, caught him in like two inches of water up there. Like super shallow. Thanks, man. So sadly, not a successful day, but all in all, it was still fun. Beautiful day out, it was in like the 70s, really nice to get out in the water and uh, just, you know, test out the Garmin. So that was great. Um, really marked a ton of fish and got to, you know, get a, get a feel for it. Uh, but today we're gonna be taking out the old two-stroke. We uh, got the motor here that we winterized and today we're gonna be de-winterizing it, if that's the proper term, I'm not really sure. I may have just made that up. But um, yeah, today I'm gonna be going through that process and uh, hopefully we can get this thing to start up because it's been a minute. Well, first off, there's a few things we need to grab. We're gonna need to pull out the hose. Uh, we gotta grab the earmuffs, and then we gotta grab the motor, obviously. I've got TCW3 oil and a pump that I'll uh, explain in a little bit, and also we need a bucket for any of that oil that uh, has to drain. So we did drain the oil uh, over the winter, so we're just gonna be replacing that and uh, get the motor to hopefully start up um, so we can, um, yeah, I mean, we probably won't be using it soon, but the sooner I get this thing up and running and maybe consistently, you know, start it maybe every week, you know, warm it up a little bit so that it, uh, you know, the better chance of it actually working and whatever, because it, it, it is an older motor. It's probably from, I honestly not 100% sure, it's probably from the late 90s would be my guess. Um, so it's definitely got some years under its belt. But, um, how am I going to take this thing out? What is this? Oh, <laughs> it's the instructions for the stand. I want to make sure that nothing's cracked. Uh, I think uh, our, the previous owner, before we actually got this boat, I believe he actually replaced some of these tubes. Let's see if I can get like semi-decent lighting on this thing. Oh my gosh. There we go. Wow, look at that. Just to make sure that none of these are cracked. There's no leaks present. Um, you know, so that nothing bad happens. Right, so there's our choke. Still works. Obviously, it's good. Got a rope. Alright, this actually looks pretty good, at least on the outside. Alright, so right now we're gonna unscrew this. So I just uh, unscrewed the drain screw. Um, so we're just kind of letting all any excess oil that uh, didn't drain in the winter kind of drip out, which is only a tad. All right, so now we got our new oil. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a towel here. Just get some of that off the edges. So we're gonna take our new oil. This is a pump I bought alongside. So we're basically pumping this up until it starts to come out of the top. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's there's a little screw up top that says oil level. 
I apologize, I didn't really show much of what I actually did there. Uh, because I had a little bit of complication. So basically, I unscrewed that bottom uh, screw right there that says oil drain. Um, let any excess old oil drain out. And then you also have to unscrew the oil level here. And then we took our TCW3 two-stroke uh, premium engine oil and then got our pump. Screw this in to that bottom screw there and then pump the oil through using the pump And once that oil starts to drain or trickle out of the top there I immediately started pumping cap that cap that um, Wiped away any excess oil that was left. All right, I'm to grab the earmuffs. Oh wait, no, they're right here All right, good on both sides Oh man, get some water flowing through the engine. All right, water's flowing through. Find this. This thing needs a lot of squeezes, oh my gosh. Open the choke. Can't start the damn motor without a kill switch. All right. Everything looks good. Let's see if uh, we can get her to start. That worked. I did not expect that to work first try. Process. I'm, I'm still a, very much a rookie <laughs> when it comes to all this. Obviously, this is my first boat I've ever owned. I don't know, I think that went pretty smoothly. Obviously, the motor still works, which is great. She sounds good. Didn't look like we had any leaks. The water ran through well. We had no problems. It seemed it started up well, um, and then I put her in forward real quick. I was able to put her in a forward. Let's actually turn the water off and uh, rev her a little bit just to make sure that uh, she runs well so let's turn our water off here because we do not need that to be running still alrighty well there you have it I don't know if I'm in focus I mean my camera you guys are on a weird angle jeez what the heck what kind of tilt is that all right that's should be hopefully a little better well that was good that's all for today's video um, kind of just wanted to get that up and running and uh, you know before the season starts uh, hopefully we can use it because who doesn't love going fast on a lake you know? uh, so yeah we'll probably be going out on a trip on Friday today is Wednesday this video depending on my editing skills will probably be up tomorrow morning um, depending on how fast I edit I mean this isn't really a difficult video to edit so it should be pretty simple uh, but yeah um, I think we may be uh, due to change the prop soon the prop's a little chipped and banged up. It's it's actually pretty beat up. It's an old prop. Like I said, guys, this is an this is an old motor. Um, let's see if we can even. Just give me bear with bear with me. There we go. Oh my God, look at that. So you guys can see we got some uh, some rough edges, some bang ups there, especially over here on this side. Focus. Stupid.
camera. Oh my god, look, it focused. You guys can see. We got some uh, some marks, some scratches, and whatnot. So I think we're going to try to replace the prop. We do have an extra prop right here, but that thing's old as heck. So I don't know if we're going to buy a new one or just replace with that one. That one actually isn't beat up at all, so it may be the better option. Not sure, though. But uh, yeah, the motor overall looks pretty good. Um, and it definitely sounds well, and we're glad that it didn't explode in my hands because that would have been really bad. Uh, so yeah, successful oil change and um, successful first start to the year. It looked like it got a lot of we had there was just a little. There was a little bit of um, bad oil still in there. I don't have anything else to say. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Hope you enjoyed. Let's go catch some freaking fish on Friday. And uh, yeah, stay tuned. Let's roll the outro, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace. Oh, God.